Welcome to our beginner-friendly tutorial on command line arguments in C. If you're new to programming and wondering how to make programs take input directly from the command line, you're in the right place. In C, if you want to get user input into your program, you need to use something called command line arguments. For example, you notice times when a tool doesn't let you use a password because it's too short. This is a program reacting in a basic way to unwanted user input. So this is the first line of a program that doesn't take any arguments. This is what it looks like when it does take arguments. In your main function, you can pass two arguments, an integer, argc, and an array of pointers, argv. These are just variable names. You can call them whatever you want, but we'll stick to argc and argv since that's the standard in C. You can use these variables to access and manipulate user input in your program. And argc stands for argument count and tells you how many command line arguments were provided including the name of the program itself. It's just a counter, a number. argv stands for argument vector, and it's an array with the arguments that the user enters. So let's break it down. So let's say we have a program that takes user input. Then we would run it like this. a.out uh, is the default program name. And then we would add the arguments. And in this case, the arguments are hello and world. The first argument is the program name itself. Hello is the second, and world is the third argument. This means we have three arguments. So argument count, which is argc, equals to three. And this is what it looks like from the perspective of our argv. The arguments are put into an array. So each argument is an element in that array. You can access individual command line arguments by using their index. And arrays always start with counting at zero. So our program name is a position zero in our argv array. And hello is position number one. So the first argument from our user is number one, which makes it quite easy to remember. If we want to access a specific letter in the word, we can add another index. Remember that arrays start counting at zero. So the first letter of the first word here is at position argv, one, zero. Let's write a small program to demonstrate this. We want the program to write the first word, hello, and the number of arguments. OK, so we have our main here, and we will give it our arguments. So we have the integer argc and our argv. And argv can be written either like this with a star and the brackets after, or it can be written with just two stars like this. They do the same thing. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's more a preference, I would say. To print here, we use printf to print the number of arguments. And then we give you the argument argc. And to print the first argument, the first user input, we will write it like this, like argv bracket 1. OK, so let's compile and run this. So when we run this, we will write a out, our program name. And then we will write as argument, hello world. And we get 3, which is our argc number, number of arguments. We so see here we have 3 arguments, including the program name. And it writes hello. So if I want to print a specific letter, I will have to change this format specifier to C for a character. And then I would add an extra bracket here, because the first bracket contains the index of the word or the argument. So hello would be argument number one, right? And then if I want to print a letter, I would put another index. and. In this case, if we want to print the first one, it will be 0. So then we have argv, argument 1, letter 0. Let's compile and run this. And we will run it with the same arguments as before. We write it with hello world. And we get 3, which is argc. It's still 3 arguments. And an h, which is the first letter of hello. Something from the second argument. Maybe we want to write the third letter. And then we do it right this instead. Like this, we will get 3, which is our argument counter. And then we get an L, which is the third position in the world. So let's say we want to print everything the user put in. But we don't really know how much uh, beforehand that they will write. We don't know how many words. So then we will have to use a loop. So we will declare an integer, i, and we will set it to 0. And as a condition in the loop, we will have while i is less than argc, because that's our argument counter, right? So we want to print all the arguments. And we're using printf. 
and we use string or s as a format specifier. And then we print argv, and we put i in the brackets, because i is our counter, and it will write, uh, will then print word by word. And i++ means it's incrementing, so it's going to the next argument and continue. So let's compile and read it out, hello world again. And as you see, it prints all the arguments. We have a.out, it's the first argument, and then we have hello and world. You can also use argc to check how many arguments are provided. And you can have that as a condition to see if any usements are provided or if there are enough of them, depending on what your program is doing. So here we then, we will put like if argc equals to one, because as you remember, uh, argc number one is our program name. So if argc is only one, then we only have the program name, meaning no one put any arguments in there. So then we'll print no arguments provided and return zero, which will finish the program. So now let's just run it with the program name and then provide any arguments. And then we'll see it prints no arguments provided. So let's go back to what we talked about in the beginning when you have a program that checks if your password is the right length and we'll write the program just like that. Here we have a while loop. And in this case, you just put in one word. So it will be argv1 and i, we use this as an increment. So here we are just counting the letters. So while argv, first argument, and we loop through the string. So it would be i plus plus, so we get to the end. So if i is less than eight, uh, print password is too short. Else, we'll print password is okay. And then we return zero to end the program. Compile this, and we run it. And let's say this is the password. So I print i love 42. And it will print password is too short. Did you know there's actually a third argument that can be used in main as well? You'll learn everything about that about halfway into the core curriculum if you become a student at 42. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more beginner friendly programming tutorials. Happy coding!